Butterfly Ginger, agroplants.org, also known as Ginger Lily or just Butterfly Ginger Lily. So this had its shume. Uh, it's hibiscus geophyte and how to grow it and why to grow it. So first, why to grow it? So I would say for the beautiful flowers, you have a variety of colors, uh, depend what uh, species you're gonna grow. Uh, but a color of the flower can be yellow, white, pink or orange. And you can see the shape and even variety of shapes. But this is just one kind, uh, you will see in the continuation another kind. Uh, okay, so this is perennial evergreen. It's ornamental, as I said, for the beauty of the flowers, but the leaves are also uh, normally and okay, not something uh, significant. The flowers are fragrant, and this is, I think, important because it adds some, uh, I don't know, like extra to the garden. So if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, you can purchase it, or link in the right top side. This is donation for our channel, and also don't forget uh, to subscribe, it's very important, it's help to this channel to continue. And of course check other videos so variety of climate that it can grow this plant will be tropical subtropical mediterranean or even a temperate climate hardiness zone from eight plus uh, the leaves as i said you can have uh, green simple or you can find the uh, species that are variegate uh, it's been green with white or green with yellow uh, so there is no point to describe the shape of the flowers, but as you can see, they are a bit unique than the usual, so it's very nice. A requirement how to grow it, so I would say slightly acid soil, a rich soil, a, it's important. And just in the beginning, just in the beginning, mulch. After this, the plant take care of himself, no point to add. And this is also keeps the, uh, the moist of the soil. You can start to grow it by bulbs, uh, seeds or plant, just to buy a plant. And be aware it's invasive and aggressive plant, so if you plant it, it means that you don't need to work so much unless uh, your condition is not really fit for this plant. Or uh, it means that uh, also be aware and consider not to destroy uh, the area, the nature around you. The best planting season will be in the spring, but uh, in a tropical or in a hotter climate, let's say hard in a zone of 10B, can grow also in the from the spring to the autumn and tropical can be all the year. Uh, pruning will be can be all the year, the best in the winter and in the autumn, it's after the, the blooming time. Uh, why? Because just you don't... Uh, you don't make problems... Uh, you don't prevent the plants in order to bloom. So this is important, the height of the plant, and it's a medium growing plant, so the height it's 1 to 1.5 meter, and even a fast uh, plant, uh, growing plant in the right condition, and it's been 40 to 60 inches. The average amount of water, this is a water requirement, you can put even a big amount of water, it will be great for the plants. And the best will grow in full sun, because its uh, performance of blooming will be the best, but half shade grow very well. So the season of the blooming will be from the summer to the autumn, depends on species. And uh, the name uh, Butterfly Ginger, it's also because of the shape of the flowers that for some reason and with some imagination you can see butterflies. Uh, I think with a lot of imagination. But apparently people see it. Uh, except this, I wouldn't say that it's very, very hard to grow. It's a quite of easy to grow. Uh, it takes a lot of space and you need to establish before you will see some flowers. Uh, it's quite of aggressive, so maybe be aware. Uh, you can use it as an edge plant because it's wire, it can arrive to a meter and a half, so it's 60 inches. So it can make you a small wall. And it's uh, growing very, very... Uh, Ten, uh, density, the density of the growth it's very narrow so you don't have like space between the plants so it can if with the right design of uh, you know if you take the all the bulbs and you take care that they will grow wherever you want so let's say with two or three rows of this plant you can make a dense uh, edge plant except this easy plant to grow without an actually a special requirement so be aware of this that's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, 
and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again